You see these PLC modules? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how I wire them. So like it's a PLC wiring tutorial, the steps that I take wiring these PLC modules within this real world control panel for this real world control system. And if you don't know who I am, my name's Chris, I run a business called Be Automation where we help electricians and engineers progress their careers into the controls and automation industry. And yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. Okay guys, so the first cables of the PLCs I'm doing are these gray zero to 10 control voltages that are going to, or they're going via a relay first, but then going off to the terminal blocks that are going to be controlling the output of the boilers, varying how hot they are basically. The next bit, which we'll see in a second, is the closed loop digital inputs coming from the relays. But at this stage, I'm just um, working out the bus connections, the, the link connections that Wago have, just so I'm not using loads of cables coming from the PLC. So just working that out now. And now I'm just working out that first length, first couple of lengths, or the longest possible length, and then I'll take that off, work out how many cables need to be cut, cut that off the bench, do all the numbering, the idents and stuff, and then, as you'll see, start bringing them back in and start wiring them up. So yeah, here you can see the bulk of them I've already pre-cut, pre-identified and just yeah, chucking them all in at the same time and then do the same on the other end where the relays are, it's just far quicker doing it that way. And the reason for these cables is just when a relay energizes, when something trips out or is running or is in fault, that sends a signal to the PLC to let us know its status. So yeah, as you can see, the first cables were these zero to 10 volt outputs, the boiler one and boiler two. They're going via some relays where you can see the grays here. We've also got some additional grays coming from the constant 10 volts, which is for when the cam switch is set in hand, so manual, and we're just using a constant voltage from this power supply to feed the boilers rather than having automatic control coming from the PLC. So yeah, these relays here will be energized based on what the cam switch on the front of the panel is set to, whether it's in hand, whether it's in auto, and that will in turn energize these relays accordingly and then switch it from constant 10 to a variable 0 to 10. So yeah, you can see here, all of the cables are kind of running together. Uh, makes sense just to obviously do things from one point in the panel to another. And if you can cut them all to length, roughly the same length, and do it off the bench, that makes sense too and just makes things a lot easier. So some more photos. There we go. More photos. And then as per usual, guys, just obviously marking off the cables once they've been wired, highlighting them um, with a highlighter. 